everybody Jeff with Team Catfish today we're gonna do a little more bank fishing uh, this is uh, about the end of March the first of April uh, here on a uh, the Canadian River in uh, Oklahoma and as you can see this river there's not much of it it's uh, pretty shallow and pretty sandy uh, there's some mud bars and mud flats and we just rode the four-wheeler down here and what we're gonna do is I want you to kind of take a uh, kind of listen to what I'm telling you now that when you're trying to decipher a river um, you have runs and holes riffles and deep holes or runs and holes and or riffles runs and holes so what you have is you have a shallow riffly area then a lot of times you have a run that's just kind of mediocre water there's not a whole lot of structure in it it's just kind of medium depth and then you have a, a hole and, and so what we have here is we've got a lot of uh, shallow water up here and then we've got a little bit of a run right here into this real deep corner you see this big deep bend right here show them this big bend right in here Hayden now what we're gonna do because we think that the catfish are gonna be in the deepest part of this hole which isn't very deep maybe four feet at the most I think they're gonna be laying right over there under that tree now we're gonna take some sudden impact fiber bait and uh, some catfish rods and uh, I've got the two and three ounce sinkers on sinker slides here and we're going to kind of sneak down that rocky bank right there and we're going to throw them in and let them set kind of around that old stump and brush now if they're not in there then we're going to move back up here and start to fish the run don't think just because you're in a deep hole that's where the catfish are feeding at there might be catfish in that deep hole but they might not be feeding in that hole the active catfish might be up here in the run or they might be up in the shallows so keep that in mind but the first place we're going to start is right down here by this deep log. We got the water, it's making a bend right here. It's kind of making a little bit of an eddy right out in there. And what this does is this comes around this corner. Hey, get me. This comes around this corner and it gets into a tight little deep channel area right in here so we're gonna we're gonna put the sudden impact fiber bait on right up here and we're gonna cast a couple rods right in front of that tree and see if we can get a channel cat out of there if there's any down there I bet we'll know pretty quick it's been really been cooking good out there in the Sun okay so I'm gonna throw this one out and I'm going to put Owen down here where he can kind of watch us. Always check your drag a little bit. Got about five, four or five foot deep. Okay, Owie. Let's get this rod and we're just going to kind of set it right, right here like that. Just keep it from going in the water. Now you wait for him, you wait for him to really pull it, okay? Don't don't grab it if it's just peck peck yank yank. But they really really pulls that thing kinds of swim off with it. A lot of you guys that fish from the bank you already got a hit. A lot of you guys that fish from the bank need to start putting your rods out to the side like this. Instead of pointing them out like this, you want to put your rods up to the side. And you can really see when the rod's coming around, it gives the gives the rod a little bit of a room to move, and it's a good indicator that you need to get to the rod. If you leave the rod pointed out like this, there's nothing left. It just <laughs> off into the water. So remember that next time you're bank fishing, line your rods up to the side where the catfish can pull them around. Not near as deep right there, but there could be an active catfish right there that that just came out of that the that edge of that tree over there. 
Get him, boy. Got him? Okay, reel it up. We'll get another. We'll bait it up again. Just that fast, we had some action. This this rod is kind of bumping around right here a little bit. Now this water isn't very warm either. This water is just probably barely, just a little above 50 degrees. Maybe 52, 53 degrees. So now we're set up right here and, and uh, we'll see what happens. Hey, we're gonna leave this uh, video running real time. You know, folks uh, want to see the bite. They want to see how fast it takes to get bit. And uh, you can see shortly, we get a good hit on sudden impact fiber bait. Uh, we were using team catfish uh, rods. We were using 50 pound tug of war, uh, high vis yellow braided line. We were using monofilament uh, leaders, number six sudden impact treble hook, and weren't doing anything complicated. Him. Got him? Yeah. Got him. Okay, I'm gonna pull this one in and get it out of the way. Wee! Pretty cool right there, folks. Pretty cool. Now that is a lot of fun. Not a big old catfish, but you know what? I bet you there's another one in there. And it is a catfish. Nice little channel catfish. Okay, we are gonna bait up and get it back in there again. A lot of these little creeks and streams like this, folks, all over America are completely full of these channel cats. And you don't got to be catching 10 and 20 pounders to have a good time. You catch 2 and 3 pounder catfish and have a good time with your kids and your friends and your family out here. And we're not keeping any fish today, but I wanted to come do this little video and show you what we were looking for. Another presentation on bank fishing. We get requests from people about bank fishing all the time. And I hope this helps you catch more catfish. Now we caught about 20 catfish today. I'm not gonna sit here and show you all the fish that we caught, but here's a few clips from some catfish, a little bit more action we put into the video. Folks, this is so much fun. I really encourage you to get out there, get you some fiber bait, find you a little creek and stream, get your kids, your wife, your grandma out there, and get after these catfish. There's creeks and streams all over America that you can do this in. It's very easy. Well, there's nothing in the world wrong with that. Nice channel cat, Hayden. Now tell everybody how you did yours, because you... You, you kind of did that one all by yourself. I just threw it up, or Owen just threw it right in front of that big tree uh -huh. that's in the water. And I just let it sit there for about four minutes and he hit it. Right, okay. What would you recommend kids using the fiber bait? Yes. Is there any catfish bait any easier? Nope. Yeah, I know. These kids catch a lot of catfish on sudden impact fiber bait. So, all right, well, we're going to cut that dude loose and... See if they can get another one. Got him? Mm -hmm. Holy smokes, these kids are wearing them out. There, there's another frisky little uh, frisky little catfish sandwich just come up over the bank. Alright, we got us a good double. I think we're going to wind her up, guys. We'll probably catch one more fish and we're gonna wind it up. You guys having fun? Yeah. Alright.